Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Eiken and today we're going to continue our challenge run with animals after we have seen a massive, massive uh, hold with the bears uh, the last time. We're going down the packing order right from S tier down to A tier and A tier does have two competitors or uh, participants in there from my perspective which would be A, the uh, wolves and B, the dragons. So those are the two next videos. This is installment number two and just like the last time we're going to start with a few builds, a couple of thoughts around wolves and then we're going to go right into fighting. So as always, I mentioned it in the last video, uh, you have very limited equipment uh, slots. Wolves are a little bit different uh, than bears, so I was toying with the idea of using other equipment uh, slots, but I ended up with the majority of the wolves just getting the infused color uh, for the same reason that I mentioned beforehand. Just kind of a really solid passive ongoing healing. That'll stop uh, situations like burning or other skills to immediately take you down. Um, the uh, one exception here is I put a tank wolf with a protective collar that basically allows dying ones uh, in and he's going to take the heat or that's at least the supposed str uh, strategy. Wolves come in two forms, snow wolves and uh, normal wolves. Uh, or polar wolves and normal wolves i have almost exclusively just caught alpha wolves and for whatever reason the polar alphas are black but okay make it make sense um, polar wolves come in with a snow tracker feed that in snowy regions when we're fighting they apply 50 percent directly to health that so will come in handy when we're fighting against human enemies normal alphas come in with the sharp fangs ability which uh, against um, enemies without armor will apply bleeding right away so uh, that's really it most of the wolves here are level 12 we have as always a beast master of level 10 to not outshine them let's go into the skills so i skilled them with a pack which is not surprising that's really the um, number one trait of wolves if you do have at least three wolves in a group uh, the unit's critical hit chance increases by 50 percent uh, i haven't uh, fully uh, upgraded it yet uh, because we still need to be wanted but I'll do that in a second uh, to just up the critical hit over a hundred percent so with wolves you can very much with that skill and um, the path ability as well as food you can reach over a hundred uh, percent uh, crit for all of them so wolves then i went into carnivore diet each time this unit kills an enemy it heals 50 percent of its maximum health which is really the majority of where the healing is coming from that's good the next tier really not uh, good for combat it's just reduction of food cost so to, uh, so to speak i'm not um, going to do a surprise combat but that is actually helpful if you are going to explore tombs for instance and then primitive reflexes is what I decided on the uh, highest tier critical hits against this unit turn into regular hits and I always counter with an attack of opportunity. Specifically the latter part is very very helpful. In terms of stats, willpower 15, movement 20 to 22 and then rest into crit. They are really very forgiving. In some of the cases I even upgraded their strength a little bit because point is most of the crit is coming from their pack ability so wolves are incredibly alpha uh, strike um, tanky and non-tanky our tank uh, wolf does have 200 hit points so that's not a lot luckily we got one uh, with guard so at least three percent uh, damage reduction that's re that's really all we get so let's see how far we can take it from here we are going to engage in an easy combat first and then a difficult one Good, I figured in order to get the same baseline of a quote-unquote easy fight, we're starting with the same five bears. This time it looks much more scary if you're using wolves. Tank Alpha in the front. There's no such thing as a tank wolf. 
but we need to get behind them and circle around them. Nice. Look at that. Immediately putting bleeding onto them, which is good because that's exactly what is going to deal the most damage. Oh, wow, our tanking is not good at all. Uh, he's already bleeding. Now he's slowed down on top of it. I want to make sure that that bear might take the other uh, a wolf instead of someone else. Good. Third wolf coming in. Damage is okay. Ouch. Almost single hit kill. But on the other hand, we're dealing a lot of damage. Just look at the amount of damage that's coming in. 200. They are retaliating with 140 though. Not great. Okay, listen. What's the point where all of you need to attack him as a pack? It would have been better if someone else took the kill. Can't really change that now, can we? Good. All of them get a little bit of healing. And we're just trying to let all of the bears become bleeding and find a solution. For the absurd amount of damage that they are dealing. How much is it? And can be a one shot for this polar wolf. If you're not having a wolf alpha. It's likely going to be too much damage. 148, yeah, that would be level here. This wolf is acting first, so we need to bind it. Alpha Wolf comes in, strikes, this guy is bleeding now. Wow, so much damage. A little bit of a problem down here because that polar that uh, polar alpha <coughs> might be in a uh, in some trouble. That's two attacks on this bear. Hit and a nice hit. Trying to heal this guy up. We could do a little trick. This puts weakening on him. Mm. 
That means we might be able to hit, uh, to get, yep, we, we survived one hit. Fantastic. The tricks. Good, more bleeding, because that's what's really going to hurt uh, these uh, bears. There is the first willpower. Couldn't do anything about it. After attacking, this unit executes an attack of opportunity. Okay, well, just gotta be mindful. have used uh, deflection stupid me all right evasion that at least is going to reduce the incoming damage and our collar is healing us we won't be able to keep up with that amount um, with that amount of damage that they are dealing. So we need more healing. The only way of getting that is actually killing some of them. We can't disengage because that would uh, mm, cause takes of opportunities to happen. Yeah, much better. The problem is they are now relentless, so uh, that will be a huge issue. Moving to here, hitting from behind, okay, and we're getting evasion. Cool. We're going to disengage the bear in a second. There you go, two attacks. One. Two. Oh, I could be sneaky and knock him out. But no, we're not here to collect bears. Weakening. Into healing. And this will get, give him supported. <sighs> Hopefully the bear is going for the guy in the back. Another healing. Yep. Fantastic. Took the, low, uh, the bait for the lower hit point pool. Good, we're putting an evasion up. This guy goes berserk. Not good. We don't have a second form of attack. Let's hope that our evasion will be enough. Okay. Yep, yeah, we'll put. No! Oh no. Good. 
We lost a wolf. Oh, that's unfortunate. Good. Continuing to stay here, you can see it's definitely getting more dangerous with wolves compared to bears. Not even a close comparison. There is the willpower. Oh no, how does he get three attacks? Come on. Good, we lost two. The pack is massively shrinking. And unfortunately the one that is was supposed uh, to to tank isn't bizarrely tanking good we now got galvan uh, galvanization and this polar killed so he's essentially full good very good Time to heal this polar bear, uh, this alpha. Killing, heals, moves up, and howls. Good, this bear still needs to die. One hit. Two hits. Is he going berserk already? Yeah, I think we can kill him. Okay, unfortunate losses. Could have played that a little bit better. Good. Which now brings us uh, to the next part of this challenge which is nothing short of running into a really difficult encounter so if you thought that this was already bad it's just going to become even worse we got four wolves that's enough for still keeping that hundred uh, percent critical strike up but i think i still have the incredibly large size of uh, enemies but maybe we're lucky just look at that we got some deserters and a guard patrol so that's the opening we were waiting for killing guards together with deserters all right i was hoping for a front line of sorts but unfortunately they gave us two bowmen uh, deserters outlaws and a looter at least the looter is going to deal an incredible amount of damage. Won't be a great tank though. Alright, tank alpha does exactly what he's supposed to. Which is make sure that we're taking the least possible amount of damage. For starters, we're howling. And we're attacking. That's a really good hit, by the way. Got some damage in return. Okay, well, I think we can all agree that the guards are plenty strong. Directly being shot into willpower and or even having reinforcements coming in. I 
couldn't have played that much different, to be honest. There is only so much damage that you can absorb. But that was really unfortunate. Like, this guy here, the foot soldier, is a defensive en uh, enemy. And due to his double strike nature that you have seen, he basically just one shot us. Crazy. Well, this is not going to go well. I can already foreshadow that much. We're down to willpower here. I said a crit. Archers are getting engaged. I was hoping that we at least have a round before that happens. This is we're definitely not going to win that engagement, but let's see how many we can take down. At least we're not the only ones getting shed on. Uh, these enemy archers are completely getting destroyed. Our first kill. Moving to here. Yeah, and we're just going to get deflection because why not? Let's see how well that tactician is doing. Bit of poison, it's not a bad idea. Oh, and we're working with fire. I see how it is. Just don't bring that shit to me, please. That's a double hit. Not bad. This lieutenant is a problem. Not that I think my healing will drastically change the outcome here but might as well try to generate as much healing as we can maybe we can get like one uh, get to a position that we can take one more hit okay this is where the fun stops and where we are just getting overrun Maybe we can get this guy down. Let's see. Two more hits, come on. One. Two. Look, that's as much healing as we're going to get. Uh, there is unfortunately the retaliation. Oh, and we do have repost. Hmm. Not cool. Uh, since he already acted, might as well give us a defense. Disengage. More or less gracefully. And re-engage over here. Ouch. Everybody's burning, that's not good. There's the willpower.
Yeah, the problem is they will just break through. I don't have enough damage nor enough uh, sustain in order to go through here. Great hit, good slowdown, even additional damage. Let's not get. Uh, let's not start to burn. So. We're just staying here. But yeah, that will be a kill. Ah, second last wolf down. Only a polar wolf. Of all of the alphas, ah, he's the last one to die. So we took down one, two, almost a third one. I think we did okay, but I mean there are limitations to what you can do. Um, they are not bears. I think that's a good conclusion of this exercise. We tried our best to make the polar uh, wolves work. We even uh, joined up with a couple of outlaws for the most advantageous um, of all ambushes. But the one thing that we really, really needed, which was a tank, was denied. And uh, therefore we lasted two rounds, which I think is admirable. But we for sure with one uh, tracker, one wolf and one archer cannot best these amount of enemies. So, uh, what's the conclusion? I would say wolves, very good in general, but they require the right little setup in order to make it uh, work. They are in they do incredibly good damage for what they are worth. And keep in mind, whilst bears are increasing the enemy size by 1.5 per, uh, the wolves are only increasing the enemy size by 0 0.5 per uh, per animal, which effectively means three wolves equal one bear, so to speak, from my experience uh, of playtesting, uh, and that might make them a little bit more attractive. Also, uh, consider that the uh, wolf pack advantage of 50% uh, crit can uh, be obtained uh, for everyone in the party. So if you're running a small party, like let's say four or five men, and you're adding three wolves, then that is just a moderate amount of extra enemies, but you get 50% crit chance. It will be even better the bigger your party becomes. All you need to do is make sure that the wolves never really engage or give them protective colors, and then that is that. I need to take care of my little one. And that brings us to the end of uh, this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you appreciated the content. If you did, uh, leave a little comment and a like down below, and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.